Hi, welcome back to Quinoa Pot Creations tutorial videos. This uh, video is another uh, Zoom class from our feeding circle that we hold on Sunday um, afternoons. A member of the group um, volunteered to uh, teach us the daisy chain hoop earrings that she created um, after we had a class on daisy chain edging. So her daisy chain earrings um, supply list is uh, the beads, needles, and thread. So I used size 11 seed beads, had a pair of um, earring hoops, size 11 uh, John James beading needles, and size D Nymo nylon beading but thread. I just grabbed enough thread just because I don't like Rethreading. Also, as a disclaimer, I'm still fairly new to uh, beading, so if anybody has any tips or tricks for how I do things, um, or maybe has a simpler method, let me know. And then also, this is like adapted from Terry's daisy chain edging that we did a little while back. So, Terry, feel free to jump in too. But I'm going to start off by tying a couple knots on the hoop um, to start out, and then from there. I'm just going to do a single row. I think it's called brick stitch. Um, I'm just going to take a base color, like whatever you want, like the color to be on your base row. I'm just doing one solid color. You can honestly change it up however you want. Um, and I'll just do like a, is this called a brick stitch? I think so. Yeah. Um, but essentially, let's see if it'll focus. But I'll just wrap it up around the hoop. And go up like this and then just continue that all the way around the hoop and if anybody wants me to try to explain this I'm sure that I can me or someone else in the group can kind of help teach that a little bit better it is the same thing it is brick stitch but it's the same thing you would do if you were doing a single bead edge like on a medallion or a um uh, a rosette. Oh, yeah. It's just on a hoop. Uh huh. Okay. So now that I can see again, so I'll just put on seven of one color onto here. And then I'm just going to go through this very, just the first bead and create like a little circle. So you'll string on seven and then go up through that very first bead that you strung on. And I don't know how to get my daisies as tight. That's what I'm still trying to figure out. So if anybody has any tips or if you guys have done daisies before, it's the other way that I can describe it because I don't think I'm going to be able to pull it back out. Um, and you'll string on seven and then create a loop by going through the very first bead or the bead closest to your base. To create a circle so you won't go through all of them just yet you're just going to go through the first bead only to create this loop and you only okay. did seven mm -hmm. how do you get it tight so it doesn't be all wonky i just hold down that very first bead and then pull through um if anybody else has any other tips feel free to share them because i'm still trying to figure out how i can get the daisies tighter So then after I get this step, I'm just going to take one bead that's going to be that center color. So you'll see how this string is coming out through that very first bead. String on your petal color bead. And then from here, you're just going to skip over three beads. So you'll see where that's coming through. Skip over three in the circle and then go through that fourth bead like that. So you can see how I'm skipping over three beads, going through the fourth one, and then we're just gonna create, we're just gonna go through all of the circle. So again, as you're coming out of that very first bead that we went through to create the loop, skip over three beads, go through your fourth, and go through all of them to create a circle. Thank you. 
So did you add a bead for the center yet or is it all just the purple beads? Yeah, so I strung on seven, went through the very first bead or the bead closest to the base mm -hmm. and that created a circle. Then after that step, mm -hmm. I added on the petal bead or the petal color, skipped over three beads. And now, right now, let's see. I'm going to add there. One, two, three, oh. three, go through the four. Oh, maybe. And then from here, once you have the string coming out, you're just going to go back down through that first bead like that. So where that string is coming out, let's see if I can get it where it's. I got a flower now, but it's about a quarter of an inch up the base. <laughs> It'll, once you go back down, I mean, some of the string will be hanging out. Um, once you go back down through this first bead like this and pull, it should tighten it closer to the base. So now I'm left with something like this. And they'll kind of flip around until you put on the leaves, like the green leaves in between. But I can explain because we'll be, be we'll be repeating like the same kind of process over and over with each of them. So if you're like where you are with me right now, you had that string come back down through that first bead. And so we're going to skip over to the third bead by going up through the bead right next to it. If I can get it. So you'll go up through the second bead like that to weave your way back to the third bead. So you'll go up through the second bead, down through the third bead, and then back once more, back up once more through the next base bead. So you're just weaving through the base bead until you get yeah, I think it's three beads over. All right. Yeah, so you'll have that first bead. Or I guess I, I skipped two in between. So you'll have the f first base bead where the flower is coming through, a blank bead, a blank bead, and then coming up through. So from here, we're back to where we started with this first one. So if you're still stuck at the first daisy, I can explain again. Um, if you're following where I am right now, I'm just taking a different color of bead on the next one. So I'm going to take these light purples and string on seven. So, yep, I'll string on seven, push them all the way down until they get to the base bead like that. And to create a circle, I'm just going up through this very last bead that's closest to the base like this. So again, I'm just stringing on seven, going up through this only one bead, the first bead closest to the base. And what I do to try to keep it where it's taut, I just hold that bead down with my nail and pull through. So it'll create that little loop for that circle. So it'll look something like this now. So I strung on seven, went up through that very first bead closest to the base. And from here, I'm gonna take my petal color and I'm just using this dark color. So you'll see how it's coming up through that first bead. You'll skip over three beads. So I'll go one, two, three. I'll go down through this fourth. And then I'm just gonna go all the way around the circle. So I strung on seven, went through the first bead closest to the base, strung on my petal, or not, I keep calling it the petal, but that center color. Skip over three beads, go through your fourth, and then go all the way around the whole flower until you're back to where that string's coming out of. But I go all the way through the flower until I'm back at like where that first string is. And then I just go down that same bead that the flower is coming out of. So I'll go down through that one and then I'm just gonna weave back and forth. So I went down the same bead that it's coming through, going up the bead next to it, 
down through the bead, the following one, and then back up. And I'm just repeating that process all the way around the hoop. So if anybody, so I'll go ahead and show how to add on the leaves because it's pretty simple because you're just going to be weaving in and out. I wish that Terry was on here. She was just here a second ago because this is one of the parts where I kind of struggle. But um, on your last flower, so you know how you went around the loop, just go back up and you're going to put your leaf in between this daisy and the one next to it. And I think what Terry was saying is that you want to leave like basically two beads on the top. So you'll come out one end, put your leaf on there, your leaf bead, and then you'll kind of twist your flowers around to wherever they're closest to each other. And I'm just going to go up through the next daisy and hopefully it doesn't get caught like mine going through one or two beads what was that so you're going through one or two beads i went through two just now so i'm gonna go back down so i went through i guess technically three beads to connect that Okay. And then I I don't know if she said two or three. I think I was doing three. So I'm Wait, gonna I, leave three at the end of the hoop. You went um before you went you before you put that green bead in between, how many beads are we to go through on the flower? Here, let me see. Let me back up. I think it's also preference of where you want your leaf to sit. Um, but I want to say that I went through four beads of the next flower. Let me thread this back on real quick. Because depending on how many you're going to go through, it'll be like how Terry taught us, how either your bead's going to sit low to the base, or if you want it to sit high to the base. So just however many like little leaves you want in between. Come on. Oh my goodness. Like I mentioned at the beginning, this uh this part was like where I kind of got a little bit confused and I was gonna ask Terry for clarification. But I know that she's been having internet trouble. I don't think she's back on. Okay, here we go. So I went through, like I went back around until I got to the top of this bead. So you can see where my string's coming out. I'm going to string on my green bead for my leaf. I'm going to go across. To this one so I'll just go through one right now so you guys can kind of see where it's going through so I'll go through one bead about equal to where my beads coming out of um, on the petal I'll go to the next petal about the same height so you'll see how they're connected and then I'm going to go through, so I went through one bead, I'm going to go through two, three, and then come out that. So I guess I went through three beads. And then I'm going to string on another green bead and then go across about the same height. Go through three more beads. And that was how we made our daisy chain hoop earrings. Um, really want to thank um, Angela for teaching our class and thanks for stopping by I hope you come in and Facebook and join our beading circle or stop by my website at www.quinwapacreations.com thanks for coming see you next time bye